Okay, here we have the Power Pot 5 on top of the Silver Fire rocket stove called the Survivor. And down here we have our wood going in, which the people who make this thing would tell me I got too much wood, but. Uh, and we have the draft door closed. And this has just got going, okay? Look at here. Here's my cell phone. It's got 17% of a charge on it. I did that on purpose. I got 17% of a charge on it. And here we are. We're charging. It's charging right now at 2 watts. As it gets going and gets a little warmer, it'll be doing even more watts. You are looking at a cell phone being charged off of wood. Oh, and guess what? Let me get this out of my pocket. This is a little battery bank, and if I charge it off of the power pot on top of the stove fed by the wood, I will then also get light. Yeah, stored light you can use at night from the wood you're using to cook your dinner or from the wood you're using just to make electricity off of the power pot. Note, there is water in the power pot. There has to be. And here we go. The fire is coming out of the rocket stove. It's heating up the power pot. And as you can hear, the water is beginning to boil. And when the water is boiling, that's when you're going to get the most power out of your power pot. Now look at this. This little meter comes with the power pot. It's attached to the cord. Each bar is one watt. So we got one, two, three, four watts of power going into this USB storage device. Now, as I said, from here, I can turn on the light or I can plug in to right here on the end and I can charge up my cell phone with it. So not only can I charge my cell phone directly from this, as you have seen, I can store it and charge it later. You got a fire going, you might as well use it up and put all that energy into your batteries, into your phones, and your other devices.